pressing the hotkey A brings up the appearance menu. Here, you can drag and drop a material onto the body. Notice the color is applied to the entire body, but switching from body components to faces allows you to drag and drop a material onto a specific face. So let me just grab a metal material so you guys can see me drag and drop this. Now I'll grab a black paint and I'll just apply that to these sections above. You can also shift select multiple sections to apply material all at once. Now let's go back to the front view. Also turn on the reference. Now let's look at this decal here. So to apply a decal, let's change the UI from design to render. Now we can select the decal icon above and select insert from this computer. Now let's grab that decal and hit open. And you can just use these uh, arrows and the widgets to uh, better scale to match your reference. Once satisfied, just hit OK. And at this time, we can return back to the design UI. And uh, let's just go to the top view and let's turn on that reference. And also, I want you guys to retain some of the information from this course, so I'm not gonna talk you through each and every step. I want you guys, by the end of this, to be comfortable using this to where you can create your own models. And I steered far from using any uh, advanced techniques so you guys can grasp the information. Because I see a lot of courses, they just go, they rush through everything and they don't really explain why they're doing what they're doing. And they, uh, they usually veer off into something uh, unrelated to the topic. So I figured if I embed this information into you guys now, once I start getting to some of the cool tutorials, like working on mech machines and uh, different things like that, motorcycle vehicles, you guys will be uh, a lot quicker with it and it'll be a lot faster without having to take 20 minutes for a tutorial. So, and also guys, something I wanted to mention, if you guys weren't aware, say I just used this sketch to create this pipe. Uh, once I'm done doing my cut operation, the sketch disappears. And you can just toggle it back on by going to the sketch drop-down menu and toggling back on that previous sketch. And we're just gonna repeat that same pipe information so we can get a similar cut. Now with this third rectangle, we're just gonna press pull this and we're gonna press pull it by negative 0.061 and set it to new body. And once that new body is created, we're just gonna duplicate it by hitting control C, control V, and we're gonna rotate it so it appears to be opened. And with the other body, we're just gonna do a combined cut. And we're gonna cut that previous duplication and it's gonna create a cut down the middle now let's just apply some materials to it. So let's hit A to bring up the material and we're just gonna drag and drop. Now let's return back to the left view and uh, you guys should know what to do from here. All right guys, just keep in mind when you're doing the press pool that the operation is set to new body. So we can uh, mirror that on the opposite side. All right, once we mirror it on both sides, we can combine them together so we can cut them out of this giant body. Now we're gonna create a sketch on those cutout surfaces and create this circular shape. Once satisfied, we're just gonna press pull this and let's press pull it all the way to the edge of the reference and hit new body. Now we'll go to modify chamfer and let's chamfer the edge. Now we can mirror it over to the opposite end. Now instead of cut, we're gonna hit join when we do our combine so they can inherit the yellow uh, color of the body.
Now back in the front view, let's turn on our reference to the front. And let's just chamfer this bottom line here so we can match the reference. 